Hello you guys, welcome to the video. So today I am finally sitting down to film one of my first Halloween makeup looks for 2020 and I am so excited about today's video. Halloween is my favorite holiday, hands down. I absolutely love it. As a makeup lover and as somebody who likes to get dressed up, it's the best holiday. So for today's video, I wanted to pick something quite extravagant. So I'm gonna be creating a unicorn makeup look and I'm also gonna fully transform into a costume to give you an idea for that as well. So you are gonna see me go from this to this. It's a full unicorn transformation fantasy, so let's just jump right into things. So a couple things I should mention, you guys can go with whatever color scheme you want. Unicorns to me are pretty like holographic, think pinks, purples, light blues, a ton of glitter. So whatever you have at your disposal, feel free to use. I'm gonna be swapping between three palettes. I have my BH Club Tropicana palette. If you guys have been here for a while, you will remember this, She's she's been around. I have the James Charles Morphe palette, which is great for color. And then for this look in particular, I have the Riviera palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills because it's got a ton of pinks and purples. So that's what we're gonna be working with today. Just putting concealer on my eyelids to cancel out any veins. And I like to set that with a little setting powder. I just use whatever is in the cap. You don't need a lot. So I'm gonna start with a neutral shade first. So I have Estate here and Coastline. They're like kind of like a peachy color. So we're gonna put that down first with a big fluffy brush. Now I'm gonna go in with Coastline. It's just a little bit darker of a peachy color. And I'm putting that in the outer corner and just buffing that into the crease. Honestly, you guys are not gonna see that because we're gonna be covering it with a hot pink in a second, so don't worry about that color. All right, I'm taking another fluffy brush. This is an e.l.f. crease brush. And again, I'm gonna dip into Bahamas there, the bright pink. So the key to the color pigmentation, you want to stamp it on first and place it where you want it. I'm going about halfway across my lid and then I'm going to blend that up into the crease. All right, next I'm going to take the white in this palette. So whatever white you have, pretty pigmented. And I'm just going to tap that right under my brow bone and just blend that together. Now I'm dipping into the James Charles palette because they have this raspberry shade right here. I'm going to dip into that and put that in the outer corner. Pack that on again, just kind of like stamping it in the outer corner there to deepen up that pink. And I'm gonna drag that across the crease, keeping it pretty low. And then all over the lid, use whatever shimmery pink you have. It could be light, it could be dark, whatever you want. This palette has the shade Palermo. So I'm gonna use that for all over the lid. I'm gonna spray my brush with whatever setting spray you have. This is gonna make the shadow look a little bit more foiled. And I'm just gonna start by placing that on the lid. Now I always forget this color isn't that shimmery. The payoff isn't that great. So I'm just gonna dip in with my pinky. Okay, so this is the fun part. We're gonna use NYX Glitter. This one's like a really pretty pink with rainbows in it. Be careful. And I'm gonna pour it into the cap. And this is really just gonna take this look to the next level. I'm taking the NYX Glitter Glue and I'm gonna put a little bit on my pinky finger. You do not need a lot. And I'm just gonna pat that all over the lid. In the inner corner and then about halfway across the lid. Cool, and then I'm gonna dip my finger right into the glitter there. Keep your eyes shut and then tap that over that pink. This is what really makes this look stand out. Okay, and then I'm going back into that raspberry shade from the James Charles palette and I'm just gonna stamp over the outer corner just to build up that color a little bit more. Cool, and then I'm just gonna take a black eyeliner and I'm just gonna line right across the top of my lash line towards the outer corner. All right, I'm gonna go do my other eye off camera and then I'll be right back to do the lashes. All right, you guys, this is how we're looking right now. <laughs> So I went ahead and popped on these Scarlet Lashes from Huda Beauty. These are like my go-to Halloween lash or festival lash because they're so big and extravagant, but they kind of flare out more. So that's what that's looking like. Uh, I left this to show you guys that I'm gonna take this off with a makeup remover wipe. So any of the glitter or fallout on your face, just go ahead and clean that up and give yourself a nice sharp line on the corner there. This is why for a look like this, I always do my eyes first because this would totally mess up your face makeup. 
All right, this is where the fun begins because we are going to be doing a lot of color on our face. We're essentially going to be color contouring our face with pinks and purples, but to start, I need to put primer on. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to use the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. This is like tried and true for me. Um, it's got more of like a pearlescent finish. Like it definitely gives you a nice glow, if you can see that. So I'm just applying that over my pores because it's pore filling on my forehead and then dragging it out to the rest of my face. You guys, go ahead and use whatever foundation you want. I love the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. It's my favorite foundation. I'll do like a pump and a half-ish and I'm just gonna put that around my face. This is really pretty. It's got nice coverage. You can build it up. I've been trying to go lighter on foundation recently. I just don't wanna wear like as heavy makeup, but today's a Halloween look, so. Go ahead and blend that in. And with your beauty blender, you always want to pat rather than drag. And I'm just gonna take the tiniest little bit more and just cover my blemishes. So like my cheek and my chin is breaking out a little. All right, we're gonna skip cream contouring today because we don't wanna put any normal contour colors on, but I am gonna use concealer. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Um, this one's a hydrating concealer. I prefer it. It's just a little too dark for me right now. So I'm gonna use the tiniest amount. Yeah, this is way too dark. And this is the regular e.l.f. concealer, way too light. I just don't know how to match myself. So I'm gonna put a little bit right over that. Definitely too light for my skin tone, but that's fine. <laughs> and I'm gonna blend that in. The coverage on this is so good. It's kind of like e.l.f.'s version of Tarte Shape Tape. I always look up and then I try and get the Beauty Blender to go like directly under my lash line. So you're going up nice and close there. And the coverage on that is ridiculous. It's so good. And you guys will have to leave me a comment down below with what you are being for Halloween. And if you guys recreate this look, please tag me in your photos. So I would love to see your unicorn fantasy looks. It's a lot of fun to do this makeup. Um, so next step, I'm gonna set that with powder. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty powder. Um, this is pretty pigmented. I'm in the shade, I think I'm in butter. You do not need a lot of this. So I just take the cap, like literally whatever is in here. I dip my brush in there, swirl it around, and I'm just gonna set the center of my forehead because that's where I tend to get a tiny bit oily. And then I'm gonna tap a little bit more out. Perfect, the tiniest amount. Dip in there again. And I set my chin and my smile lines because my smile lines always crease on me. And then again, dipping in, and I'm just gonna look up and just pat that under my eye to set my concealer. I'm trying to think, I did the unicorn look, I think it was three years ago. I think it was in 2017 that I was a unicorn, or 2016. It was three or four years ago, it's been a while. So my makeup routine has changed a lot, and I feel like I have even more knowledge about makeup than I did then, so it'll be cool to see how different this turns out. Now for the fun part. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be doing like bronzer and contour on our face with color. That's what's gonna make this look like a bright pink purple unicorn. So I took my like brightest blush. This is the Flower Beauty blush in Wild Rose. So I'm gonna use this as blush and as contour. We are really gonna dig, and this is like pigmented as it is. So I'm gonna start with my contour. So I'm starting right on my temple. You're kind of like shading essentially with your color. And I'm gonna just drag that, mainly focusing it on my temple and then carrying it up to my forehead. This time like right in here under my cheekbone where I would contour. And I'm starting it there and I'm dragging it up and out towards my hairline. And this is sort of like blush territory too. So I'm gonna bring that onto my cheek a little. Definitely don't skip the tip of your nose. I feel like that's kind of what gives this like the little My Little Pony vibe, uh, an e-girl vibe. So definitely hit the top of your nose and then I'm applying this to my cheeks like blush. And then we're gonna carry that under our jawline. I love color contouring. I think this is so much fun. I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit and I'm just gonna come down the sides of my nose. I'm gonna take my powder brush and just blend that in a little. I might dip into these two down here. It's like a darker pink and a darker purple and we'll just, we'll see how that goes. And I just went back into my original brush and I'm just blending those together. And then just to clean up this contour so it's nice and sharp, I'm gonna dip back into my powder 
and I'm going to take my beauty sponge, which this one, this is the Morphe one, has a nice sharp edge, and I'm going to coat the beauty blender in the powder, and I just want to cut this so that that contour doesn't come down too far. So just sort of like stamp the powder on right above your jawline, like so, and let that bake, and that's going to give you a nice, clean contour line. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Flower Beauty Highlighting Palette because this has a really pretty... Um, it's like a pearlescent pink and a champagne-y color, and they are blinding. So I'm just going to take a little highlighting brush, and I'm going to pop that on the top of my cheeks and then across my forehead. So I'm dipping into the pink and a little into the champagne. Tap it off. This is very powdery. And I'm just going to hit the top of my cheekbone there. And I'm going to take a little bit more, and I'm just going to go... We're all like where the light would hit you. So on the sides of my forehead there, a little bit above my brow bone. I'm gonna take a really, really tiny little brush and I'm gonna dip into the pink. And I just like to highlight my nose because I think it gives it a little bit more definition. It makes it look like a cute little button nose. And I'm also gonna take that, the pink in the middle, and highlight my inner corner. So that's pretty nice and blinding. It's coming together, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows because they're looking a little crusty right now. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna make my brows pink because why wouldn't we make them electric pink? <laughs> so I'm essentially just gonna fill in my brows as I normally would with a bright ass pink eyeliner. This is the Illuminati Gel Paint in Electric Ink. She's pink. I feel like doing something to your brows with a Halloween look just takes it to the next level. So this looks awesome. I'm gonna take it even further and put some glitter. Um, this is from Urban Decay. This is like the heavy metal liner in Midnight Cowboy. I'm just gonna pop that on and brush it through my brows. Just like a really subtle brow. You know what I mean? What are you guys actually doing for Halloween? I'm curious because I know it's like extremely difficult to really like have anything social but like depending on your state like you can do things outside with a certain amount of people so i know there are some drive-in raves um i'm trying to think of other events i haven't decided yet i have friends of a friend who might be doing something outdoors that i might get dressed up and go to but still trying to figure that out okay i'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the powder so you see what that did it's translucent it just kind of cleaned up any of that purple that like sank down because that's not going to give you a lifted cheekbone if your contour is like on your jawline. Okay, so for the rest of the eyes, and then we're almost done with this look, I'm going to line the waterline with a NYX pencil. This is in Milk. It's like a jumbo eyeliner. Now make sure your eyes just look super open. I kind of want to add a little bit of turquoise because this color seashells is speaking to me. It's speaking to me. I'm just going to take a really tiny little definer brush and we're going to go for it and hope this doesn't ruin the whole look but we're gonna dip in there really pretty and i am just gonna stamp this under my eye yep that was right i'm glad i did that oh that's so pretty all right then i'm taking mascara and i'm gonna brush my lashes on the top lash line into the falsies that just helps them like blend better together and i'm gonna do the bottom lashes as well cue awkward face Alrighty, I'm just going to let that dry because I made a little bit of a mess, so we're going to clean that up in a second. But the last step for lips, I have this magenta lip pencil from MAC, so I'm going to line with that. Nothing about this look is subtle. That's not what we're going for here. <laughs> All right, and then I'm taking this really pretty like blush colored lipstick. This is Blushing Beige from Maybelline. It's really, really light. I'm just gonna cover my whole lips with that. I feel like that matched this entire look very well. I'm gonna take the pink and just define it a little bit more because that color does like wash out how bright it is. So just like in the outer corners, I'm darkening it there under my lip to make my lips look fuller. And I'll pop a gloss on, cause why not? This is MAC Lip Glass, and this is in the shade AC8. So pretty, okay. You thought we were done. 
we ain't done yet next we have to add glitter because this will just make the whole look come together so i have two things here from lunatics this is their stardust and this is in the shade melrose it's like a really pretty um kind of like silvery color but wait till you see it on and then it, the glitter i have is cotton candy from lunatics and this is a really pretty pink you could use the nyx glitter glue if you want or i personally have tattoo wax which i always use for my glitter application it just works so well it's basically like a vaseline or an aquaphor you could use that as well just use a very light hand because it will remove your makeup if you rub your makeup so i just dip my ring finger in here and i tap very lightly over where my highlighter is do you see that oh my god can you guys see that up here like that was the perfect shift it almost is like a purple like iridescent i'm dying this is amazing again that was the color melrose from lunatics like look at that i will link everything down below and i actually work with lunatics i love them so i have a code if you guys want to save money there but i'm wondering if i even need chunky glitter because i just kind of like how iridescent that is i might put a tiny tiny bit of the cotton candy glitter on top Alright you guys, so this is the completed unicorn look. That was a doozy, but this is everything up close. So much fun. I love how this came out. I feel like this is even better than the unicorn look I did a few years ago. So next time you guys see me, I will have the full outfit on. The transformation will be complete. <laughs> I'm back you guys, fully transformed into my unicorn fantasy. I absolutely love how this came out. I am so excited about this look. So I'll show you guys what I have going on and give you the full body shot of the outfit. But okay, you guys, my neighbors are walking by my window and I just moved into this house and I haven't met them yet. And I don't have blinds on these windows. So they're gonna see me with their small children and be like, why is this grown ass woman dressed like a unicorn right now? But it's fine. Anyway, you guys, so to complete this look, I popped on my pink wig from Lit Unicorns. I absolutely love this. And to top it off, I finally got to use my Lunatics hair tinsel, which are these beautiful little strands I put in. You just clip them into your hair. So those came out amazing. My earrings are from Brits Blossoms. They're these cute little poof fluff purple earrings. Uh, I don't even remember. I think I got this unicorn horn from Etsy. This is what I wore to EDC Las Vegas in 2017 and I wore this for Halloween as well. And then I will show you my bodysuit. So you guys, this bodysuit is from Sirens of Venus. It used to be called Sea Gypsy Couture, but they just rebranded. It is absolutely beautiful, super sparkly. The bottoms are this like iridescent pink. And then this skirt is from Rave Wonderland. I just threw that on top. And then these tights are from Freedom Rave Wear. They're nude with little cutouts and they have gemstones sewn into them. So those are super cute. I'll show you the back as well. So this back has this little tie and then it's cut out on the side. But you guys, this is the entire look and unicorn outfit transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below what you guys are gonna be for Halloween. If you wanna pick up any of these items, I will list everything that is still available down below along with any discount codes that I have to save you guys some money. I'm so excited about how this came out. Maybe I'll go as a unicorn this year. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling this whole vibe. But that's all I have for you guys. If you're new here, I would absolutely love it if you would hit the subscribe button down below to come join the family. You can also turn on the post notifications bell so you never miss a new upload. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.